Now let's turn to David Trim for a look at Adventist history. This week, the end of a controversial Adventist publication that ran in the late 1800s. Welcome to this week in Adventist history. December 15, 1888 was the date of the final issue of The Gospel Sickle, a journal that had started publication in 1886 as a missionary magazine, but became caught up in the controversy of the late 1880s about righteousness by faith. Its columns were characterized by vociferous debates. Ellen White wrote in 1887 to two of the leading disputants, Alonzo T. Jones and Ellett J. Wagoner, a pain comes to my heart every time I see the sickle. Its circulation dropped dramatically and the final issue of 1888 was its last. The story of the gospel sickle is a reminder to Adventists that theological debate that is uncivil and unchristlike can disastrously divide us and will distract us from mission. Ellen White's letter to Jones and Wagoner continued with counsel we would do well to remember. She wrote, where there is a difference in understanding a particular passage of scripture, do not be with your pen or voice making your differences apparent and making a breach when there is no need of this. On December 17 in 1894, Stephen T. Belden and his wife arrived on Norfolk Island, the first Seventh-day Adventist missionaries to the island, which was then a separate British colony, but today is part of Australia. Belden was already 67, and he remained on Norfolk Island until his death in 1906, aged 77. That was this week in Seventh-day Adventist history.